For years now, Nissan has been promising us a completely overhauled model line. Now we've seen the new Rogue, the new Pathfinder, Frontier, the Armada. All of those cars are important to the company's bottom line, but none of them are that important to the enthusiast. Luckily, that car is. This is the new 2023 Nissan Z, the production ready version. And now it's time to finally take our first look, so join us. Now before we get deeper into the new Z, I'd like to remind you to please subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel. We have tons of great things coming up and we wouldn't want you to miss anything. And if you haven't done so already, give us a follow on Instagram at MotorOne.com. Here we go, finally the new Z, right? Let me give you a few headlines before we dive deeper. 400 horsepower, a standard six-speed manual transmission, zero to 60 in just over four seconds, and a starting price of around $40,000. Sounds pretty good, right? So last year, Nissan showed us something called the Z Proto, which was a prototype version of what would become the next generation Z car. And they promised us when we saw that, that it would be dang close to the production car. Now that we see that in person, hey, guess what? They weren't lying to us, that's kind of cool. The car next to me here, this yellow one, is actually a special edition. It's one of just 240 examples that they're calling the Proto Spec. Wonder where they got the 240 from, right? Well, this car has a few special details on it. The wheels, the 19 inch wheels here are finished in bronze. The brake calipers are finished in yellow. And then inside there's a few cool details like the yellow stitching. Apart from these 240, the rest of the Z's will come in two flavors, sport and performance. The performance is the upper trim and that's what we see here. Let's talk about that blue for a second, right? Oof, it looks fantastic. And this is honestly the first time that we've seen the Z not in that yellow color over there. Now, when we talk about what they've changed from proto to production, it's just small little detail things. For example, the production car obviously has amber in the headlights because it has to. And then they tucked in some of the driver assistance systems down in the grill. Otherwise, it's pretty much bang on to what we saw beforehand. What do we like in the face? Well, these absolutely gorgeous headlights. We love those right off the bat, right? The lighting signature is actually indicative of the original 240 and that car which took the headlight and threw out this reflection uh, in the actual glass. And then they mimicked that and turned it into a modern day LED lighting signature. How cool is that? The grill, well, it's still very squared off, like it or not. I kind of wish they had toned that down and maybe rounded it out just a bit, but you know what? In person, I actually like the way it looks quite a bit. Now, I already mentioned the blue and just how fantastic that looks. It's one of six two-tone color options and actually three monotone color options as well. We haven't seen that monotone yet, but it'll be, you know, I'll be curious to see what that looks like in person. For now, the contrast between the two colors looks really elegant and it breaks up some of the design details in a way that really makes a lot of sense. And then speaking of breaking up things, this gorgeous body line right here is called the Katana Blade. It's sort of this nice satin metallic finish and up against black and blue, I love what it does to the side profile of the car. And then we get this Z badge right here, which is a perfect time for me to tell you, this car is just called the Z. It's the 2023 Nissan Z. No 400, no 350, no 370. It's the first time that this car has not worn a number in front of the Z badge, which it's pretty cool and it kind of goes along with the fact that Nissan is really trying to revive this car and give it a whole new personality. Finally, 19 inch wheels on this performance trim. The same ones we see over on this yellow car, but they're just not finished in bronze. Between the two, I like this finish a lot more. And let's point out a couple things at the rear. Again, a nice balance of black and color going on here. I love, love these tail lights here. Just a nice, clean, simple design. And there's nothing kind of, you know, getting in the way. You can just see these and they stick out, especially when the brake lights are on. Uh, down below, we have twin exhaust pipes with this beautiful little detailing that goes around. And then a rear diffuser that's actually not too in your face. I kind of like how toned down it is overall. We popped the trunk. I love that they integrated the trunk release right under the logo. You can't even see it. I was looking for a button earlier, but instead you just have the backup camera right here and then the new Nissan corporate logo. Very clean in the way it looks. Obviously a great amount of trunk space, just like before with the 370. The overall proportions of that car didn't change too much. In total, this is only about five inches longer than the 370. All right, so 
This is the part of the video where I confess to you that we have about 30 minutes to shoot this entire car start to finish. So guess what? You're getting in the interior at the exact same time I am for the first time. So let's learn together. First impressions getting into this seat is, wow, what a difference between the 370 to this new car. There are some carryover bits. The air vents stick out to me and then these door handles look the same as before. But other than that, there are some really, really conscious steps to make this feel like a whole new car on the inside. Chief of which are these two displays in front of me. This is an optional 12 inch gauge cluster and then we have an optional nine inch touchscreen to go with it. I also love that the Z logo is looking right back at you in this giant circular gauge cluster. And then there looks to be like some sort of uh, rev counter above it with a shift indicator. Brand new steering wheel as well with the new Z logo. I love that. And of course, here is the standard six speed manual. I imagine if you opt for the nine speed uh, auto, you'll get paddles on the back of the wheel. And we got to talk about this blue, right? I had no clue that they were doing this interior trim, but with this exterior, goodness gracious, does it look good. Nissan also says that the seats are new. There's going to be two seating options and I'm sitting in the upper of those two trims. Good support overall. You get power adjustability on this side and then some manual lumbar support on the outside as well. Uh, in terms of size to the 370, it does feel very similar. And the sight lines are also similar than before. Final thing I want to point out, it's probably my favorite thing in the entire interior, these three gauges, which of course are you know, found in Dotsons and, and old Z products. I love that they can blend modern and old school and make it look great. A time to talk performance. Like I said earlier, this car makes 400 horsepower and 350 pound-feet of torque. And that's courtesy of a twin turbocharged three liter V6. Now those specs all probably sound very familiar and that's because they are the exact same as the Infiniti Q60 Red Sport. That's because it's also the same engine as that car. The chief difference is that this is going to use rear wheel drive as to where that car uses all wheel drive. Now Nissan is not telling us an exact zero to 60 time, but they say that this is 15% quicker than the 370Z. So I'm bad at math, but that probably means something just over four seconds. The 2023 Nissan Z will go on sale in the spring of next year. We don't have an exact pricing figure yet, but it should start at around $40,000. We expect to know a lot more in the coming months and hopefully take it for a first drive then as well. Now for all the information on the new Z, head over to MotorOne.com and read the full story there. And as always, thanks for watching.